I'll go down and check, honey. Hi, friends. It is getting dark. I'll check one more time down the end of the driveway for a package that I think we're supposed to be getting from someone. Pretty exciting for me, for this channel, for us. Anyway, listen, I'm gonna give you a quick canops. I'm gonna bust this into two videos. People wanna see the journey, and this is just a couple of guys on a road trip getting goofy in the, in, in the cab of a truck, and uh, there will be a part two to this. That's what we've been doing over the last five days. So friends, just enjoy this. I'm just glad you're here and I wanted to put something up for you. Enjoy. Well, friends, it's the first ferry leaving Vancouver Island. Morgan. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, friends. We just looked at one another and we actually said, why in the heck are we, where, what are we doing again here? Well, we're doing a few things. We're resurrecting a truck that, for me, my whole freaking business, my whole life, and it's the green and white crew key, friends. And uh, we found a cab. And Morgan figures, and I do too, that it's, it looked to be a factory color, Morgan. Yeah, on, it's, on that truck. It's what I call original rust. Original rust. So I like that. Yeah, original rust, which means not tampered with. So we're going to get it. 172 horsepower. <laughs> Only. Only. Hold me back. Anyways, we're glad to have you along the journey with us. I'll shoot some content on this. It'll be a quick run. It's kind of a missionary run, isn't it? Straight there, straight yeah, back. Yeah. yeah. You know, uh, we're probably, well, well, we'll be what we'll be. I don't, I don't really know. I, I, I fly by the seat of my pants and so does Morgan. That's why we travel well together. Uh, we just look at what's in front of us and go. Um, let's put it this way. I only packed two pairs of socks. Uh oh, no, three. <laughs> All right. What's it been? 12 hours. So friends, this is going to seem silly. I know, but is that light pretty harsh? That's all right. Listen. I've worn leather boots, just leather boots, for let's just say 25 years. Now, before leather boots, I wore like a JB Goodhue, kind of a $100 boot, $150 boot with all the cushion in it and all the crazy stuff. And they stunk. They, okay? I've been in these boots, friends, for 12 hours just today. It's 12 hours a day usually most days. You, you've got to take my word for it. Oh, <laughs> like I said, crazy video. If you have stinky feet and you're man enough to break in a good pair of leather boots, do it. You will never, ever regret it. I live in these every day, all day. My feet never stink. They're soft as a baby's bottom. It, it just, leather doesn't do that, friends. It's man-made synthetics that do that. If you don't believe me, give it a shot. Kidding. <laughs> anyway, friends, there'll be more to come. We'll catch you on the road. Yeah, well, here we are, friends. We're on the road. We're going to, I don't even know where we're going. We're just driving. We're going through Hope right now. We're going to pick up a cab. What are you mumbling about? We're going that way. Yeah, we're going that way, he says. chatting along here just having a great old time I've never been in a car or a truck flying down the highway and had a flat a, a blowout I've, I've just I've not I've not experienced that it's never happened to me hey we're gonna have to stop right here yeah we gotta stop we're just trying to get a spot where we're not gonna get killed we're on the side of the highway oh, oh this is, this is so Morgan just changed this tire oh yeah he tore that tore the inner fender off the adventure begins. Flat tire.
Could be raining and snowing. Could be. Could be worse. We'll, we'll, we'll drive up the road a bit. Back on the road. It's cold down here. So what happened? They got out of the truck. They got out of the and course they, they did. And they helped me. Yeah. And but you had to enforce it. And it was just for some silly stuff like they had a leak. They yeah. Said, okay. We're on the Coquihalla, friends, driving down. You know an interesting fact. I was, uh, while well, I was a young man, I was, uh, it was 1986, as a matter of fact, I was, uh, well, I was approximately 16 years old, and we were on a soccer tournament. What are you laughing at? You. I was on a soccer tournament, friends, and, uh, well, uh, we, we drove the coca on opening day, and that's the straight, good, straight truth coming to you. So we drove it for free. They had a toll on the old Coca-Cola back in the day for paying for it. And then they did, they said, they did what they said they were gonna do. They dropped the toll after she was paid for it. Pretty good show. Yeah, it does, Morgan. What's it to you? <laughs> hey, friends. We're on the Coca-Cola. We're heading, uh, I haven't even told you where we're going, did I? But, We've already fixed one flat tire, Morgan. Well, it wasn't flat. Well, it wasn't flat. It was a blowout. The skin come rip, peeling, snorting off there, rip the in inner fender all the heck. Notice I don't swear on this channel. Holy, you should have heard the swearing there a few minutes ago, friends. I do swear. Honestly, I do. I'm not proud of it. It's not something I shoot off about. Me and Morgan were talking about it the other day. It's just not, I, I, I don't see the benefits in it. But there is nothing like a good F-bomb from time to time when you're having a struggle. Is there, Morgan? What's he doing? Busting the speed limit. Busting the speed limit. Morgan says he's busting the speed limit. I sure hope I'm not going to have to put up with this sissiness the whole time on this trip, Morgan. It's a construction zone. Oh, it's a construction. I have high, a high, a high level of respect for the construction zone speed limit. I do, too. You're, oh, I see snowflakes right now, and I'm starting to get a bit nervous yeah, with these yeah. tires we got on this two-wheel drive, to be honest. No, you're right about the construction zone. That's it's, about, about, it's about the men and women trying to make a little bit of a family. Yes, it is. Working on the road. Yes. You're absolutely right. I always slow down in the construction zones. And now I see your point. I guess I shot off a little quick, maybe. Eh? You shot did. off. I did. did. I got no problem saying I'm sorry. A, that's a good keen thing to have in your life be able to own your own stuff friends if you're if you did something and and it somehow didn't sit with somebody right you know try it on maybe maybe you did something that hurt somebody's feelings maybe you didn't at least try it on and then if you did you can clean it out I've done that quite often I'd rather have friends than enemies, Morgan. I live my whole life like that. This guy's changing his... I mean, look at that poor bugger. <laughs> He's up in the air 30, 40 feet, changing freaking lights in the snow. It's cold up here, friends. It's cold, I tell you. Up here in them hills there, hills. <laughs> but uh, this will be the next couple of days on the journey, so we'll bring you along with us, friends. We'll do a little drifting. Morgan? Yes? How are you feeling this morning? Well. Well. Feeling good. Good? Feeling purposeful. Purposeful? Yes. Very nice. Very nice. I like that. Purposeful. Oh, yeah. It, yeah. 
I mean, that's a great, that's a great word, purposeful. Useful. Useful, yeah. Well, you are, you're very useful today. Now, as far as yesterday goes, I don't know. I can't, yesterday's. I mean, you blew the tire up and I rolled around in the dirt and fixed it all while you sat there and drank a coffee on the curb. So he knows I'm kidding him. So we blew a tire, and the both of us. You know, it's funny, Morgan and I. Um, I've talked about this before with with Morgan and you guys, cows, women, and children. This is beautiful right now. I gotta flip you guys around again. This is really nice, Franz. Look, isn't that beautiful? I guess you call these the foothills. The foothills, the high plains drifter. Anyway, back to my story. Um, I might put you guys down for this one. Uh, working on small things. <clears throat> as much as someone wants to help you, sometimes they can be a hindrance to you. Right? Yeah, sometimes. Like, like, like a power saw. That, that's not a two-man job. No, no, it's not. You know, like, like to, so me and Morgan... I've only experienced this with a couple people in my life thus far. It's almost like each of us knows what needs to be done. We know where our strengths are and our hands in there. You know what I'm saying, yeah, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. We, we can actually work together. Uh, it's strange. I think some of you don't understand what I'm talking about. You hit a bump. You guys went down. So... Morgan and I share that together, which is rare. It's rare, because usually it's it's a hindrance. <laughs> you know, pass me a wrench is, is one thing, but holding a nut and spinning a, you know, togetherness on a project, that's rare. It's rare, me and him have that. It's very interesting. It's like, we know what needs to get done and we know our strengths. And I said that and I repeat myself now, so I'll put you back on the sun. And the cottonwood trees and the welcome to Rocky View country. Totally freaking doodly. What a what a trip, friends. You know something, friends? I'm going to say this real quick because I don't want to just sit here and flap, which I could all day long talk to you people. I could because I know I can relate to every single freaking one of you. I know it. For starters, I'm on a trip. I've been working on YouTube now for about nine years. And I'm on a trip going to 40 hour drive, 20 there and 20 back. And as I'm going, and I got my phone and doing my socials and doing this and that, there's been hardly any content up, of course. We did a few live feeds, thanks to you folks who followed along the journey with us. But friends, again, I don't want, I've got a list of names here, <clears throat> excuse me, who folks that were shopping at buckandbillyray.com for their new hoodies and their toques and their stuff. You know, like Brandon. Brandon leaves a, a message in the store and says, Buck and thank you so much for helping me with the power saws. My saws have never cut like this ever. And he says, he's just so grateful. And he buys some stuff in the store. Friends, if you know where I come from, and I'm sure you do, if you don't, it doesn't matter. But I freaking made my living on a power saw. And to be able to connect with folks on the freaking internet, I've said it from day one. This is crazy to me that you people go into my store and buy toques and shirts and things for your husband. And, and I know the wives. I can't mention the names because it'll ruin the Christmas presents. But if you're shopping for Christmas for your husbands or your sons or your daughters or anybody that you know that follows me, I'm just so grateful. I really, truly am. I, I Clinton. Uh, I don't want to say the ladies' names out, but, but uh, Michael and j just who... Thank you, all friends. Okay, seriously, it, it really means a lot to us because as you know, we don't do sponsored videos here and we don't have any of that stuff on the go. So at buckandbillyray.com and Christine, and it's a small little ship here, and just thank you. That's it. 
I, I just, it, it means a lot to us and we're so grateful for it. And it's neat that people, I picture people out there wearing, you know, all over the world wearing my stuff. It, it's just an honor. It is, it, it, it's, it's humbling to be honest with you. And it will never grow old. It will never grow old. So thank you. Anyway, this trip, I'm going to get right into it. Uh, there's so many shout outs I want to do, but uh, Tyler, the guy that helped us with the truck friends, dude was awesome. Tyler will probably be back to see you at some point, um, but not for a bit. What a journey. Let's get right into it, friends. I'm going to show a little blurb of this. Uh, Brian called me right before I left. I was on my way to the ferry. Brian called. He said, Bucket, have you got any firewood? I burnt up that last load you gave me. And I said, yes, I do. And Vartan, bless his heart, said, Bucket, I'll go down and deliver it to him. I got no problem doing that. Like Vartan, friends, like you, you, you cultivate good people in your life. I'll tell you, I, I would jump for Vartan and he would jump for me. And you don't get that all the time. And Brian jumped for me 18 years ago when I was flat, almost gone. And he, he jumped for me. So I jumped for him. And, and if you can cultivate this type of, of, of friendships, brotherhoods and sisterhoods in your life, I'm telling you, and start being nice to people as quick as possible, you have a way better chance of having a good life. And when you're down in the bite and you need a hand and you reach up, there'll be several to reach out and pull you out of the bite. But if you're not nice to people and, you, and, you're, and you're, you know what I'm saying? Selfish and, you know, you have less of a chance. So let's be nice to one another. Let's open up the binders and, and reach out and, and help each other move along in life. It's been my freaking message here since day one. And I'm an evolving dude. And uh, I will never, ever stop saying that to you people. That we need love more than ever. We're back. Got to get some firewood to Brian and get back on to life here. I'm so happy to be home to a nice warm stove and a good woman. Talk to you in a little bit, friends. Well, friends, thank you for watching. Uh, this is what we've been doing for the last four days, me and Morgan. So I just chop, 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 chopping it out, you know, chopping it up. I want folks to kind of join us on this little journey. We're home, obviously, now, obviously. But it's all we had going uh, on to go for the last four or five days. So I'm just going to share it with you. We'll do one more video. It's too short to slap into one. So I'll just do one more. Maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day. We'll see. I love you, friends. It's like December. What is it? The 5th? No, it's the 4th. And uh, I'm just grateful right now to have really good people in my life, including all the folks that come here and watch this channel. Uh, a healthy family, uh, a woodshed full of wood. And just, just again, it, it, it is about the people for me. So I'm very grateful for all that come here. Let's keep a, a very positive vibration going on on this channel. Thank you all. Work hard, be honest, and be kind, friends, and I'll catch you on the next video. Over and out.